Sean vlog and I'm in London baby. I'm now all checked in to the Tower Hotel at Tower Bridge next to the Tower of London. The Tower of London, somewhere we visited last year and I'd recommend it if you can. The Tower Hotel, let's check out the room. I'm in room 202, so on the second floor, and there's the key to get in to the Tower Hotel room. As you come in, fairly standard room. On the right is the bathroom. So let's have a look. So you have a sink and a mirror and another mirror, shaving mirror, makeup mirror and somewhere for your shavers but you've also got some soap, shampoo, hair conditioner and bath and shower gel which will come in very handy and there's also two glasses the standard toilet, lots of towels, so two hand towels, two bath towels and here is the shower there's the shower head and a bath if you fancy a bath back out here is the first wardrobe so let's have a look in here and you have standard wardrobe and ironing board what's in the next cupboard let's have a look the safe and the iron Then you have somewhere to store your luggage with some empty drawers and the bed, which is a big bed. They could probably put some more pillows in the middle. I don't like a gap in the middle. On the right hand side of the bed, you've got bedside table and telephone, lots of storage space. All of these drawers were open when I came into the room. Nice picture of St. Paul's. Some lights there, um, plenty of sockets around the desk and a big mirror, large TV there and a little, a small desk with a chair and some, I'm hoping, complimentary water, decante mineral water, hmm. Another bedside table and a lamp with some more artwork, a chair and then inside this drawer we have a kettle and cups and, and all of that good stuff. More shelves. Are there any sockets beside the bed? The important question, and I don't think there is. No, there's no sockets beside the bed, so all of the sockets are here. And then the last thing that you want to see in this room tour is the view. So I'm facing out onto St. Catherine Docks with all of the yachts. I noticed there's a few less yachts than normal. But yeah, very pretty, the sun's setting, the light is looking good. That's the Dickens Inn in the background. And I'm now gonna head out to St. Catherine's Dock to find something to eat. Forgot one thing, the bed test. <laughs> Think that about does the bed test. Let's go and look for some food. It's an alright room. I'm gonna head into St. Catherine Docks now. I keep saying St. Catherine's, but it's St. Catherine Docks. To look for something to eat. around the docks, <clears throat> looking at all the places to eat which are at the front and I've come to the back. Although the Dickens Inn is just there and I could get a scotch egg but I want something more than that. There's a few restaurants that are chain restaurants here that I've eaten at before so I'm going to ignore those, pick one of the ones that I haven't been to which 
might be burgers or Chinese or something like that. But St. Catherine Docks is such an underrated hidden gem in London. And if you get a chance to come, even if you just visit in the Tower of London or walking across Tower Bridge, pop over and have a look around because it's peaceful and you can dream of all these boats and yachts that you'll never be able to afford. If you can't afford one, then hi. But now I'm going to really find some food because I am a little bit hungry and you want to see the food, right? made it in and here is the menu some interesting burgers on there and their special this month is a Guinness fondue but I think I'm gonna get their local burger this one and here is the drinks menu as well just waiting for the waitress to come over and I'll place my order but look at this view from this table Pay for the view. I'm gonna have a burger, a beer, and then find somewhere for dessert. Look what's just arrived. I went for that burger beer. It's like a standard lager, really. I was thirsty. My burger has arrived with rosemary fries <coughs> and it's a Spanish burger so it's got potatoes, whatever sauce and garlic aioli and onions and all this goodness in it. The burger itself looks good but it comes with these <coughs> and you can either eat them or put them in the burger and I'm going to put them in the burger. Listen to that crunch. Mm -mm -mm. I guess now I need to give it a try, but take the ring off. It's gonna get messy. And let's try it. That's tasty. Very succulent and soft and juicy burger. The mayonnaise, amazing. The crunch of the crisps, fantastic. The onions, mm, nothing, nothing to dislike about that. And the rosemary fries, hot. Could have more salt and more rosemary, but so nice. I'm gonna finish this off and then I'll come back. That is the burger finished. The burger was just okay. Um, nothing special really. But the fries, the chips, they were terrible. Like, probably the worst chips I've ever had. They were really hard. Like, felt really old. But anyway, that cost twenty-one seventy-five, including tip. I'm going to wander across Tower Bridge now. See if I can find a dessert. There's a, I think there's like a donut place somewhere over there near London Bridge. So I'm going to go and see if I can find that. <laughs> Bridge for a specific is a cross town donut. It's supposed to be open until 8 o'clock, but they're closed, <clears throat> or at least the one that I saw was closed. So I'm gonna head back to the hotel because I had a look around and there wasn't really anything else, all savory, not really desserty type stuff. And I don't want to walk too far, but I am cutting through the Hayes Gallery, Galleria, which is a pretty cool building. A 
let's head back to the hotel and we'll jump to tomorrow morning where I give you a review of the shower because it looked a little bit ropey and how comfortable the bed was. See you tomorrow morning. Change of plans. I've come to Z Bar in the hotel. X I Z. I think I'm saying that right. Look at that view. That was a good view. Almost like when we were in vicinity, which is just down there. Uh, we we went to the vicinity restaurant last year. Here's a few clips of that. in here one for a drink and two because they do desserts and I'm gonna get a sticky dovey but I didn't need to go far at all to look for one so I'll show you that when it comes this is a nice little little bar up on the first floor or the upper floor rather it's the next morning and my battery died when I was just about to show you the sticky toffee pudding. So here's a photo that I managed to grab before the battery died. It was a strange cake, not not a typical sticky toffee pudding. Like there wasn't really any sauce, and it was like a sponge, but it was nice and soft and it was tasty. So it was good. I'm gonna quickly review this room, my sleep, and the, the surrounding area now. So the bed was really comfortable. It's actually two beds put together, two single beds, with a big mattress and then a mattress topper. It was actually quite comfortable. I slept better than I do most nights when I'm just in a hotel for the first night. And the pillows were really soft and, and comfortable as well. It was also very quiet, so not really much noise around despite being in central London. The shower, which I thought looked a little bit ropey, the pressure on it was fantastic, like amazing pressure. The problem was the temperature so it never stayed at one temperature it was like a sliding scale where it would go cold to hot to cold to hot to cold like drawing your finger along the lines of a piano going all the way up the keys and back constantly like that so it never stayed at one temperature but I made do with made do with it as best I could the hotel itself I think is in a fantastic location St Catherine Docks is, is a lovely place and that marina is brilliant there and there's lots of restaurants, as there is anywhere in central London. But I always like staying in this area, and I've stayed in several hotels here. I've stayed in the Leonardo, um, Citizen M, Motel One, Travelodge, Travelodge Plus, Premier Inn. I've stayed in quite a few in this area. This is probably, along with Motel One, Citizen M and Leonardo, this is probably one of the better ones. Uh, the views from the rooms are, are fantastic, but you don't have to go very far to do anything in this area. You've got Tower Bridge, Tower, the Tower of London, you've got St Catherine Docks, you've got Jack the Ripper Museum just around the corner as well. It's a 10 minute walk to London Bridge. you just got, there's so much around here and so much to see and do. It's a, it's a really good base. And obviously you're in central London, so 10, 15 minutes anywhere on the tube to, to get anywhere you like, like Covent Garden or Leicester Square. So I'd recommend staying here. I've had a really good night's stay. I'm off to work now which is no reason for coming here. So I'll see you in the next one. Keep making memories. I'll catch you later.